Hello and welcome, and this is the uh, second video. In this video, I'm just going to go ahead and build this model on its base. As you can see, I have the legs, the body, and some arms that I'm going to be using for the model itself. I think I'm going to start by gluing the backpack to the back of this uh, marine body as we have here. So I'm get using my trusty super glue. Um, what I should have done is actually look for some for some mold lines in the uh, printed parts. Um, let's see, yeah, this was two flashes. Um, there's no mold line at all from these awesome projects. Uh, yep. And now that I've given the, the glue some hangout time. Time to uh, put them together. Gonna wait for a few minutes because, or a few seconds because this is super glue. Super glue will take some time to cure, as you can see. That's what the body looks like. Now for the hands. Oh, I should have cut off to the. I should have cut off to the, let me see if I can focus this, come on, focus, here we go. I should have cut off the uh, the wrist of the Space Marine, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take a hobby knife, as you can see, uh, and I'm just going to chop it off. And I'm going to get a little file to sound off any, any imperfections. And um, giving that this has some time to dry. Make sure it's nice and sticky. Yeah, it's good. Now let's work on the speakers here. Don't know if I want to put them at the kneecaps. I don't think I can. A little too big. But I uh, the in the uh, in the model it is shown at the at the bottom of the legs. So I might just do that. Let me see if there's a oh, if there's a natural. Uh, way oh yeah that's that's the way it's gonna go so I think I'm gonna start by doing that first taking some super glue not a lot just enough to grip it just wiggling it around until it hugs it nice and tight Yeah, right there is nice. Right there. I think I'm gonna put the other one there. What do you think? There as well. Two speakers on each leg. He is a noise marine. Um, let's see. Let's look at the other arm. Gonna get rid of some mold lines because I I'm a professionist. Let's get some glue on this model. And I think I want to do it like that. Actually, first of all. Let me look at this hand. Yeah, I should have done that. I should have done the same thing with the uh, other hand. Not the other hand, but the other arm. Where I cut off the sort of wrist of the uh, of the model. Uh, where is the body? Let's get that body back in the, in the uh, shot here. And sort of just have it position upwards. Um, 
I'll probably just have him something like this. Yeah. Like he's handing off the mic to somebody. Not really handing off the mic, but he's... Oh no, like, yeah, like that, like dropping the mic. That kind of vibe. And then the... Guitar. Yeah, I can, I can do that. that. That looks doable. Yeah. Uh, some mold lines in the legs. Let's take care of that first. And uh, yeah, let's see. Let's talk more about LVO. LVO was great. That was my third year going to LVO. The uh, it's good to see uh, uh, Matt, the guy behind Pop Goes the Monkey. He does some great stuff. Um, I loved all of his little unique names for each of the chapters for uh, for Forty K. Like for Imperial Fist, he uses uh, he uses the the key keyword uh, King Fist, which is really nice. I liked it a lot, and. Uh, the Alpha Omega symbol, the Snake Legion for Alpha Legion. It's really, really creative parts on this side. Um, let's go ahead and glue the other speaker to the other side. Oh, that's a little bit too much glue. A little too much of glue. Oh, and I got some on my finger. There we go. Stuck on my thumb. No, I need you to be stuck on the model, not on me. Come on. There. It's almost complete. Nice. Coming along nicely. What else is there to do uh, besides, uh, should I glue them to the base now? I don't want to because I, I kind of want to paint the legs and body separate. Uh, what I can do, what I can do actually, is pin the body to the base. Um, let's see, do I have my pin vise? I do have my pin vise. I'm just going to pin the, uh, the body and the legs together so I can prime them separately because I want to get under the cape and whatnot. I want to get all that good detail. Um, let's see. You, norm you normally wouldn't do this, but since I've been pinning Space Marines, I kind of understand where the, the nice focus point is for the, for the model. Um, let's see, where is my pins? They're somewhere. Ah, uh, here they are. So I use little brass rods to pin my models. And I don't see the one that I was using uh, earlier this week. I think I may have launched it somewhere off my room. But normally I would just stick it in. Uh, a little bit of glue on the pin side. A little pinning tip. Get some glue at the tip. Glue it at one of your parts. And hold it there. And then normally I would just clip like a it's a little bit too much. Uh, I'll keep it. Let's keep that. Yep. Uh oh. Started running away. Alright, now we have that. Now we have this. And now we have this. 
pretty nice. So, so of course it's going to wobble, move uh, back and forth. That's fine with me. Uh, I'm going to glue the legs to the base. Get away of any blow away any dust. Now let's find a good good spot for him. Let's fix this pin, make it more upward. Let's see, look at that. Let's take a minute to appreciate this. And once I put the body on the legs. That's the pin itself. Oh, whoops. A little too heavy. Accidents will happen if you don't wait the proper time. Uh, let's put some more glue. Sometimes you don't put enough glue on the models. And that's fine, but you gotta be patient for the glue time. Uh, we have the mic. I think the mic needs to be... F yeah, I need to trim off the mic. Uh, there are little bits of flash. Cool, cool, cool. Now that we're focusing more on the body here, have the... Oh, I didn't fully cut the, uh, the arm off. Whoa! There we go. That's an arm. Uh, where did my file go? There it went. Sort of, sort of missed uh, half the wrists there. Cool, cool, cool. Now let's have him drop the mic. Yeah, that looks good. Pretty parallel. Maybe just... Uh, let's... So it's more glue. Maybe just... Not have them like... Very parallel. Uh, let's see, does that look good? Does this look good? Yeah, let's go with that. So this is what it looks so far. Uh, let's go ahead and glue the the other arm. Not the arm, but the other hand. That's what I meant to say. Uh, check my bit here uh, for any any bumps. There we go. There's one right there from the sprue and yeah everything seems to be fine all right let's see let's go ahead I should probably pin this but the body is pretty lowered now hold on stay I said stay. Uh, maybe my thing's not deep enough. Ha ha ha. Uh, is it straight on? Yeah. So usually when I, yeah, continuing off with the whole pinning and drilling, uh, I'll try to see that was pretty straight on. I've been doing this for quite a quite a long time, so I know where to exactly aim this this drill in. Uh, oh wow, it's actually the whole body. Now I have this all completely uh, movable, but I'm not gonna. It's not gonna be movable. I'm only really using it for the purposes of pinning uh, and painting. Um, and yeah, look at that. It's getting. It's getting there. I think a space marine can hold a 
a guitar one-handed. Yeah, what do you like? How do you like that, guys? All that is left is the head. Go ahead and cut the sprue for that. Let me put some super glue on the bottom base of the head. And we're going to go ahead and place that bad boy right there. I'm going to hold it for a few seconds because it is super glue. We do have to wait. Uh, it's almost dried. Nope. Nope. It's getting there. All right, how 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 are we gonna do it like that? I'm gonna try to find that perfect spot. I don't want him to do that. Should I do? Him? Yeah. This is this is a hobby where any position is really good. Guess I can do that. Side view. Three fourths of a view. Cause yeah, that 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 does look nice. Now let's put him back on the base. How does he look? I think he popped off the. I think I could have shaved a little bit off. Yeah, I could have shaved a little bit off his base. Not the base, but his neck. So we could say flush. But this is pretty much the model itself. Not bad for a a couple minutes, twenty minutes to be exact. It's really nice. So I wish I could make his head stay even better. Well, And with super glue, it's really just the waiting game. Um, what is left? Two more speakers and the shoulder pads. Um, how am I going to do this? Which side do I want the bases? Is it like that? As uh, icon and then accessories. Yeah, that's how it looks like on all my space frames. I'm gonna go ahead and go with that. Um, this does have a little bit of of resin bits sticking out, so let's just file that flat. And glue the shoulder pads to the body. got some glue. The head is on. Um, let's see. Oh, that's what happens. The glue from the... Because the pin went all the way through. The pin kind of glued to the head. Alright, look at that. That is some good hobby progress. Good hobby progress. I wonder what you guys are working on. If you can leave a comment on what you guys are currently working on. Uh, did you also go to LVO? I would love to hear your stories uh, about your trip to LVO. Uh, my trips were fairly simple. Um, 
I hung out at the uh, hobby hangout area. Help organize the speed painting and the painting competition there with that. Uh, Look at that. That is one handsome model. Can't wait to finish up painting him. But that's pretty much it, guys. Look at that. Fully built. Don't know what I want to do with the other uh, speakers. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, maybe something like that. Still don't know how I want to position this. There we go. Now the next step is pretty much just painting this bad boy. And uh, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to paint them in two separate, uh, two separate parts. The leg and the base and the body pretty much. And so I'm going to stop the video here. Ugh. And uh, let me know if you guys want to see more videos like these. Um, honestly, I'm just doing them on my phone. I'm just uploading the videos straight up. I don't have uh, a computer, laptop, uh, or a uh, software to do all that stuff. Uh, once I do get like a, like a nice good laptop that can handle some video editing, I'll start editing these videos. I'm gonna start, uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll start opening a Patreon page, but a uh, big shout out to uh, Pop Goes the Monkey for having an awesome booth at a LVO, and thank you for hooking me up with some really nice, uh, nice things at LVO. Uh, I bought maybe uh, a couple of things, maybe $40 in total, and he just gave me a bunch of stuff since it was the end of the day. And I just have a whole bunch of cool stuff that I like to use for commissions. And so I'm going to show off this at the end. As you can see, they're all 3D printed. Uh, these are the Exignia, so they are designed to um, curve with the base. So if I have a... Uh, this is an example with the Kingsvist uh, Exignia. It looks like a nice barrel fist uh, shoulder pad and these um, these other ones would go on the side as you can see it is a perfect fit a nice exact fit it is great for the shoulder pads so pop goes the mon monkey Matt keep doing what you're doing you are an awesome fellow and uh, can't wait to work on these amazing projects. Like, I want to finish my uh, Space Marine Army with all with all of them with the icons. I have some cool Inquisition uh, insignia for my Death Watch for my Primaris Marines. And this is just gonna be a really fun project to do. Like, I even picked up um, some what are they called uh, combi. Uh, Combi bolters from him. Oh, shake my table, and then that shakes the whole video. Um, because I just, you know, I just got the other part of the space, which is just all the accessories. I picked up another thing from uh, the store, and it is these uh, combi plasma. So they go to the uh, combi bolter part of the caddy factory uh, armor for the terminators so this is gonna be a fun project to work on and that's pretty much what's on my project uh, table today so I'm actually gonna call it uh, here because it's already 25 minutes in the video I don't like to uh, take up a lot of your time but thank you for stopping by my channel I am your host Mario Teus Thank you for watching my videos, and I hope you have a great uh, day. Uh, keep on hobbying and have a great time.